You're all very welcome. I know you've come a long way. Some of some is traveling a day or two, so I'm all dead today. So I know the commitment it takes to come from busy schedule and work and make the time and effort to come, so I appreciate that. It's funny how we can feel a, an inner call towards something, towards an event or a person. And we don't always know why. We just have the feeling go. And when we can start to honor that kind of intuitive guidance in our life, so much starts to become clear to us. We're not as separate from life as we'd like to think. There's a flow to life that will give us great opportunity when we listen. And that's what this weekend is about, deepening into listening, into physical silence and inner silence. So I will speak somewhat over the weekend, but it's really the presence or the stillness that will guide us, inform us, clarify. I'm a great advocate of silent retreats. I, I love them myself. Just time to be alone with yourself without having to uphold any social masks. where we can put down the responsibilities of work and bills and family and loved ones. And care for that inner vitality. So we use the word silent and retreat, silent retreat. Retreat for me is not just the physical retreat, this venue and moving away from your life circumstances. It's also about leaving your life story alone for a little bit, just putting it down, not to be so enmeshed in it. So we take refuge in our own quietude in our own stillness, in our own presence. The good news about this weekend is you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. That takes a lot of pressure off. Mm -hmm. And especially when we dare to let go of expectation. We're so enamored with the, with the process of accumulation, of gaining. But this is more about letting things down. You don't have to get anything this weekend. You don't have to accomplish. In my eyes, you're perfect as you are. And it is my joy to show you this, to point to this. I'm not strictly speaking a non-duality teacher. I'm not really strictly speaking a teacher, really. But I'm a being who's found peace in their own heart. And that's what I want to share with you. I cannot give you this, but you already have it. But I'll point. And my best pointing tends to be in silence. So we have a kind of rough schedule for the weekend of some very simple and effective meditation, guided meditations and some not guided and then some satsang sessions. 
but for this weekend there's no compulsion or there's no have to even any of the sessions you're free to come and go if you feel the call to sit under a tree and relax relax you're in the energy field of satsang here in the energy field of retreat and you're being cared for and you're never far So some of you are more experienced than others at retreats or along the spiritual path. But I would advise to come to this with beginner's mind. Sometimes when we carry the load of knowing too, knowing too much, it gets heavy and it blocks a lot of freshness and aliveness. So the weekend is structured to guide us very gently back from any attachments and identifications, to learn to appreciate our own stillness. And maybe to see what we are beyond form and name. So I'm very grateful to be at this venue, Jampoline. It's, it's a lovely place and there's a nice feel to the place. I like it and the grounds are really lovely. You might notice over the coming hours or days that the mind stream will maybe become quieter or more active. You might find little judgments or intolerances arising because we're not used to being in proximity to other beings quietly. But this too is a boon if we use it to see what we're not, what we're not limited to. Everyone is doing their best from their state of consciousness, where they're at. And not only can the mind drop judgment of the other, but also self-judgment. The mind can always come up with a thousand and one ideas of you could be spending your time with something else. But I'd encourage you to not believe your own thoughts this weekend, not to give them too much credence. And really they only have the power we give them. So oh, gently, gently, don't pick up anything too quickly. Question it for truth. Often when we're on the way to a, an event or retreat, we find some of our 
personality structure, old habit patterns can tend to get jarred and loosened. We can feel a little bit heavy or uneasy. We seem to be bumping up against life. Let them loosen. Let them bump. I think Neve has talked a little bit about social silence and the housekeeping. So the social silence is fantastic. We don't have to dialogue with our retreat participants, with our fellow retreat participants. And that really frees up a lot of our energy. And we don't have to get to be so distracted by giving out our own story, our old story, to rehash it. Consider yourself newborns without story. But the silence this weekend is more than the physical silence. It's about appreciating our own inherent stillness. And that stillness is not ruffled by thought patterns, movements, outer sounds. Initially, It's more easy to appreciate this when there is physical silence and not so much distraction. But once you realize this stillness at your own heart, it's irrelevant what's going on around you. This is peace. So I'm going to be doing a small meditation now in a while just to really start to tune into our own inner body intelligence. So rarely do we listen to our own body and what's going on in it. We live from the neck up most of the time. That really to start to listen to our own body starts to settle us become very present to where we are and what we are. So before we do the meditation, it'll be a very simple meditation. And I'll guide you through it at the start. Has anyone any questions about the weekend or anything they'd like to discuss? Has the silence taken you already? <laughs> <laughs> it's such a wonderful thing when beings gather in silence. And that can really deepen, and there's something special about it. I invite you to see that specialness, your own specialness. So this meditation is just called the I am meditation and it's super simple. So it's a lovely one to start with. And it's one I practiced for a while and found great benefit from. Not benefit as accumulation, but it started a process of really loosening the story and quieting, quietening the whole physical form. At the end of the meditation, 
I'll also just play a small song and you could say the song is a blessing, it's an invocation, it's a welcome to say you're here and you're welcome. So this meditation, the I am meditation, it's linked to the breath. That's its efficacy. The breath is always here for us. This rhythm, in and out. And we link the words I am to the breath. When we breathe in, we say I. And when we breathe out, we say am. We do this internally. We don't have to change our breath or rhythm. And that's the meditation, it's that simple. You may find the mind may come in. Don't worry, if it comes in, just come back to the breath. This isn't so much about effort as about relaxing. The breath is very soothing, very natural. And when we're seated and relaxed like this, it's under no great strain. We're not trying to get anywhere. There's nothing to do. We're here as we are. This meditation will lead on to a, another meditation tomorrow called resting meditation. And I'll explain the difference in the two forms of meditation to you. How we move from focusing on the breath as an object to our own presence. But for now we just stay with the breath. So I invite you to close your eyes. And again, as you breathe in internally, you just say I. And as you breathe out, you say am. There's nothing to accomplish with this meditation. 